Hello boys and girls, I'm going to teach you guys all the options on the 2023 RockShox Super Deluxe. This one is an ultimate version so it has all the clickers minus hydraulic bottom out. The hydraulic bottom out only comes with certain OEM Pacific shocks. First things first, let's compare it to the old RockShox Super Deluxe. They look very similar. So linear air can is supposed to ride very similar to the old standard Super Deluxe. The progressive air can represents the old Magneg can. Extra negative air volume will make a more plush ride, more small bump sensitivity. Most people enjoyed this Magneg can, they weren't really complaining. Unless you were a heavyweight rider, it could be a little challenging. The one compromise of the negative air volume, it requires more air pressure. So if you are a heavy guy, this can be a problem. According to RockShock, the progressive air can is for bikes with a more linear suspension type. I know that sounds confusing, progressive can for linear bike, but let me try to make it as simple as possible. Okay, if we take a specialized stump jumper, a light duty trail bike, this is a linear type suspension. It's not designed to be slammed through bike parks. It's a nice soft suspension for mellow trail rides. In this case, the progressive air can would work good, as long as you're not too heavy. If we take a look at the YT bike here, it comes with a linear air can super deluxe. And that YT bike has a progressive suspension type. So the linear air can goes on the progressive bike, like the YT. All my testing on this shock has been on the Specialized Kinevo and it has about a 25% progression rate. Basically, my bike can run either the linear or the progressive, it's right in the middle. The linear air can on my bike was very under impressive. When I added the progressive air can, it rode much better, somewhat similar to the Fox Float X. Has some small bump sensitivity, but it can hard charge the trails. So you may want to consider the progressive air can if you're not satisfied with your linear can, regardless of your suspension type. The new Super Deluxe includes negative and positive tokens. The old tokens fit inside the shock, but don't go more than 40 millimeters because the specified amount is four of those purple tokens. I measured it 40 millimeters. Email to SRAM, confirm my suspicion. What's special about the new Super Deluxe, we have negative tokens. Negative tokens help lower the main air pressure down for heavyweight and aggressive riders. That's the use case, heavy guys and aggressive riders. You can read this mumbo jumbo article from RockShock, but that's basically what they do. The negatives of putting negative tokens in, let me tell you, it kills your small bump sensitivity. Let's talk about the damping on the Super Deluxe. This year we got low speed and high speed compression. Now, personally, I think the damping is very primitive and I just turn these completely off and rely on tokens for the bottom out control. Just because you have the clicks doesn't mean you need to use them. Now, everyone's different. You may enjoy the low and high speed compression. Just start in the fully negative position at one click at a time. So any advanced tuning on this shock requires you to take the air can off. If your air can comes into a halfway down position, reinflate and deflate it again super dangerous to open the shock in a half down position let me show you why now everything i just told you is completely irrelevant because it's very likely you're on the wrong shock so click the video on the screen to check out the vivid and super deluxe coil 